Hey guys, this is John with the FJ Cruiser Channel. Um, I'm bringing you another quick video as part of the series of my preparation for the 2019 Toyota FJ Summit in URA, Colorado. Um, on my last video, I put terminals on my auxiliary battery, and I'll put a link to the video right here, um, basically to run power up to the tent. Um, I had, you know, two connectors on that auxiliary battery, so the second connector, what I want to do is have um, some auxiliary lighting to run up um, around the car because we're going to be doing a lot of dispersed camping um, in Colorado so it'd be nice to have some lights we can move around maybe hook them um, on on the sides of my um, roof rack or even the the awning I can put a couple lights around the awning um, so basically what I want to do is just have like four long wire looms like that that I'm going to create um, and I want to connect these wires probably in a daisy chain fashion to where I can just put one light somewhere or run two lights, three lights, etc. Um, so these lights I picked up from Amazon are fairly cheap. Um, they they don't look like they, they claim to be 27 watts. I really doubt it. Um, but anyway, um, I'm really not getting them for like brightness and strength. And, and matter of fact, I think these are just like wide beam lights. Uh, I just want a little bit of lighting um, while we're camping and especially if we're dispersed camping and there's no lights around. Um, so what I'm going to do is fabricate um, with this 3 quarter inch by 1 eighth inch aluminum bar. What I want to do is basically create like a little hook system on each one of these lights to where I can either hook them around the, um, the, the roof rack or on the, on the awning and just, you know, basically make them portable to where I can, if I need more distance, I can connect two of those wire looms together and make it longer and just put one light somewhere while I'm cooking. Um, anyways, the idea is just to have some kind of flexibility built into this to where um, I can run one lights, two lights, three lights, or maybe even make one long chain of wire and have one light somewhere. Um, so um, let me put together, it's really simple. So I'm just gonna um, connect, put these connectors at the end, end of these, um, uh, these lights and make it in a fashion to where I can daisy chain them. Um, anyway, um, I'm long winded here. I just doing more talking than probably there is amount of work going on. So let me put this together and I'll come back and just show you the finished product and um, we'll see what we got. Thanks. All right guys, so this is what I came up with. Um, I basically built four um, little brackets uh, two of them I built like this because I have a front runner rack and um, I just want to have a couple that kind of it just fits on top of the rack and just stays there so it's not something I can drive around with it but you know this is mainly for when we go camping so um, and so on on the other side I basically put um, two of these wire looms one of each that way I can daisy chain these together and the way I've connected these together, they're in parallel. Um, if you don't know what that means, it's basically red to red, black to black. Um, so now, and then I, I have, I had this switch that I've had from a previous light that I'd never used. Um, and this wire is going all the way back up to the battery, connecting to that other little loom. Um, so I'm gonna snake this probably in a tent at night and have a couple of these lights just on top of the rack. If you hear something at night, then I can flick a switch and kind of see what's going on. But um, if I turn it on, those are my lights. And I can daisy chain all four together. And over here, I built basically uh, three longer wire looms so I could you know, run some of these lights out to my uh, awning and stuff. And I had four small ones um, in case I can, you know, I can run two together right there on top of the front runner rack or maybe put you know, four around the front runner rack for at night, um, just to just to have them there. So it, you know, if we hear something, we can click the lights and basically be able to peek out our tent and see what's around, what's going on at night. Um, um, so that's it, guys. And so the the other two, I just put them in hooks like this. I think this will go around that awning, uh, the tube of the awning on, on both sides. We just be able to hook it in there and um, maybe just use one light two lights I can, it's modular so I can use all four or just one um, anyway so that's it um, I hope you enjoy this video and you got some ideas out of this 
Um, if you um, like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.